Do you believe? Do you believe in God? Probably we will have close to 100% today sitting here that says, of course we believe in God. But what does it mean to believe in God? Does it, does it mean to believe in God that there is a higher being somewhere in the sky up there somewhere that controls everything and, and, and that's okay and I believe that there is someone there? Is that believing? No, there's more to believing than just thinking that God is somewhere up there sitting down looking at us and watching us. And some people think that God's standing there ready to write down everything we've done wrong so that one day He can give us a good idea when we get to heaven. That's not believing. Believing is when I know that I know that God is God. When I know that I know that I can trust Him. There's a, a story told and uh, maybe I should not use the, the, the real story because Facebook might just cut me off or whatever. But uh, of a father that puts his son on the wall and he says, jump. And the son is afraid and he's standing and he's, he's not, and he says, come jump. And so he jumps and the father catches him and the father puts him back and the father stands a bit further back and he says, come jump. And when the little boy jumps, the father stands away. Ah, he falls down. And the father looks at him and he says, Son, that's just to teach you. You don't trust anybody. <laughs> that's not the trust we're talking about. We're talking about a trust where we know that God is with us through everything, in everything, wherever we are, whatever we do, God is with us because God knows every part of my life. The amazing scripture in the Bible that says God knows every hair on your head. Becoming easier and easier for God for my head. But but every hair on your head, he knows. He knows exactly how many hair is on your head. And if he knows that, then obviously he knows. David writes in, in, in Psalms, he says, You know when I get up and you know when I go down and when I when I sit down. You know when I go to sleep, you know where can I go from you? Because everywhere I am, you know that I am and uh, where I am. And you know that you are there with me. I know that you are there with me. Trusting is knowing that nothing can happen in your life that God doesn't know about. Nothing. Some of you will say, but you don't understand. I've been through some terrible things. Where was God? He was right there. He allowed you to go through some difficult things. He allowed you to go through the wilderness because He's got a plan with your life. And we need to trust Him with our whole heart. And when we come to possessing the land, the scripture I want to start off is Deuteronomy 6 verse 23. Deuteronomy 6 verse 23. And God brought us out from there that He might bring us in and give us the land that He swore to give to our fathers. Let me just read it again. And God brought us out of Egypt. He's speaking about Egypt. And God brought us out of Egypt that He might bring us in, in where? Into the promised land and give us the land that He swore to give to our fathers. You see, God brings you out to bring you in. God doesn't just bring you out. Many people come to Christ. Many people have made a choice in their heart. Many people have said, I'm choosing to follow Christ. And God brings them out of their old life. God brings them out of their difficult circumstances. God brings them out of, of, of sin. And then they hang out in the wilderness. They love the wilderness. But God has brought you out, not to, to stay in the wilderness. He's brought you out so that He can bring you into the promised land. There's something that God wants to do in our lives. 